Now, what are the mysteries of the rosary? I know there's people watching who are Protestant or who are Catholic and were never taught the rosary. There's 150 Hail Marys and they're divided uh, by 15. So 10 times 15 is 150. And each of those 10 is called a decade. I made a joke on Twitter today. I said, if you say to people, what's your favorite decade? They'll say, oh, like the 60s or the 80s. But if you ask a Catholic, what's your favorite decade? They'll say, oh, third joyful mystery, second sorrowful mystery. Different use of the word decade. The first, the joyful mysteries are the Annunciation of the Archangel Gabriel to Mary when she said, Fiat mihi, let it be done unto me, and Christ was incarnate. The second is the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth, her cousin, the mother of John the Baptist. The third is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem, Christmas. The fourth is the presentation of Jesus in the temple by Mary and Joseph. And the fifth is finding Jesus in the temple after he had been lost for three days. Now we move those are the first five. Now we move to the second group. Those are the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony of Jesus in the garden. Remember when he said, let this chalice pass from me? And Peter, James, and John were asleep. And he said, can you not watch with me for one hour? That. Two, the scourging at the pillar. When they whipped his physical body. Three, crowning with thorns, when they crowned his physical head. See, the Albigensian heretics, the Cathari, would be learning these things and being broken of their heresy and brought into the one true Catholic faith, where Christ is truly fully God and fully man. Four, carrying the cross, a physical cross with his physical body. And five, crucifixion, where his body is actually nailed with physical nails onto a physical wooden cross and lift it up as a sacrifice. The same sacrifice as the Mass, as an offering, as a propitiation for mankind's sin, to redeem them. That's Those second five are the sorrowful mysteries. And then we move into the third set of five decades, the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus' physical body. The second one is the ascension of Jesus' physical body to the right hand of the Father in heaven. It's in Luke's Gospel and also in Acts. The third is the descent of the Holy Ghost on Pentecost, where the, Pente where the Holy Spirit, third person of Trinity, comes down onto the actual bodies of the apostles and the Virgin Mary in the form of tongues of fire and empowers them and gives birth to the church. The fourth one is the assumption of Mary's body and soul in heaven, which we celebrate gloriously today on August 15th. That's when Mary's body, the body that God chose to bring about the incarnation, is elevated into the beatific vision and sits at the right hand of Jesus. And then the last one is the coronation, the crowning of the Virgin by the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, where her head, physical head, is crowned by the Holy Trinity. That is the rosary. Now, if I just go back one page, Mary says, do you know which weapon the Blessed Trinity wants to use to reform the world? Mary calls it the weapon before she even says what it is. And she says the Blessed Trinity has chosen it. How beautiful is that? How lovely is that? Mary calls it a weapon. It is a weapon. Don't let anyone tell you it's not a weapon. It's a spiritual weapon. No one's going to kill anybody with the rosary. But they might save your soul. They might bring you from heresy into the fullness of truth. She says, I want you to know that this kind of warfare, that in this kind of warfare, the battering ram has always been the angelic psalter, the rosary. The battering ram. What does a battering ram do? By the way, you got to read this book. I'm not just saying it because I want to sell you a book. This book has so much info in it. What does a battering ram do? You've seen the movies got all these men they got this giant piece of wood 
And they go up to the gate and they swing it. Boom, boom, boom. It breaks open the gates. Did Jesus ever talk about gates? I mean, let's just, I'm going to put down the book, Rosary and 50 Pages. Did Jesus ever talk about gates? Yeah, he did. Remember? You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. The gates of hell. How do we smash in the gates of hell? You're going to need a battering ram. That's how you break in gates. Battering rams break in gates. Mary says that it's a weapon. And she said she identifies the weapon not as an AR-15, not as a 45 ACP, uh, not as a 44 Magnum, uh, not as a nine millimeter Glock or a bow and arrow or a hand grenade. Mary identifies the weapon as a battering ram, and I can only conclude because Christ talks about the gates. She's talking about the battering ram to to smash the gates of hell. See, it's not just, it's not enough to just be on the defense against hell. We want to bust them up. We want to break through their line. Make them flee. She says, the battering ram has always been the angelic psalter, which is the foundation stone of the New Testament. Therefore, if you want to reach these hardened souls and win them over to God, preach my psalter. The rosary. That's why I named this book. Let's see if you can see it here. The Layman's Quick Guide to Mary's Psalter. You can see it here. People ask me, hey, Dr. Marshall, do you pray the Luminous Mysteries? I have nothing against the Luminous Mysteries. All five of the Luminous Mysteries are right there in the Bible. They are beautiful. They are true. Meditating and thinking about them will make you saintly, good, and holy. You will grow closer to Christ. And if there's a group of people and I'm with them and they're like, we're praying the Luminous Mysteries, I pray the Luminous Mysteries and have no problem with it whatsoever. But in my daily cycle of praying the Rosary every single day, I don't pray the Luminous Mysteries. Why? Because Mary was very specific that it is called chiefly, not the Rosary, Rosarium in Latin, it's chiefly called Mary's Psalter, her book of Psalms. There's only 150 Psalms in the book of Psalms. There's not 200, there's 150. Mary gave it as a Psalter, book of Psalms. Adding five mysteries brings the Psalter to 200. That's not what she revealed. She revealed 150. So if you want to hear an appendix, how I understand all that, it's in the Rosary and 50 Pages book. I think the Luminous Mysteries are a beautiful chaplet. They're a beautiful supplement, but they are not the rosary that Mary gave. Someone may say, well, yeah, but Taylor, John Paul II gave them to. Okay, great. But John Paul II is not the Blessed Virgin Mary. And again, the Luminous Mysteries are salutary, beautiful, good. I like them. I enjoy them. But they are not the rosary given by Our Lady as the angelic Psalter to Dominic in the 1200 is not it. 